What is going on tonight, guys? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Jay. I am joined once again by the lovely Lisa. Hey, y'all. Uh, we're here to make another cocktail for you guys. We are just coming into early fall now, and so I thought it was time to do this again. It's been a couple of months, and I realize this is mostly a guitar channel. I understand if that's all you want to see, but once in a while, we want to just uh, divert from that content and do something fun, because honestly, at night, you're at home, uh, what do you want to do? Maybe have a nice drink, you know? Yeah, and plus you just got a new purple guitar. So we thought right there, that guys. we would uh, go ahead and make a purple drink to go along with it. Plus it starts to feel a little bit like spooky season and I think purple kind of goes along with that. This kind of has a mystical look to it. So let's get mystical. Okay, I can get with that. I can yeah, get with that for so, sure. Yeah, uh, so what's the so, name of the drink? Yeah, so this drink is called Aviation. It's a really good drink. It's a classic cocktail. We're gonna mix it up for you guys tonight. And I'll explain a little bit about it as we go along. I'm gonna let Lisa get behind the camera and take over there. And uh, without further ado, why don't we just get right into it. So this drink is fairly straightforward. It's pretty easy to make. Uh, four ingredients and we're gonna garnish it with a cherry. Let's get into it. So first thing you wanna do is we need lemon juice for this drink. So we're gonna go with some fresh squeezed lemon juice. That's the best way to go. I mean, honestly, if you've got this device, I don't even know what you call this thing. Juicer? Lemon juicer. Yeah. Um, Citrus juicer. So you want to get your fresh lemon juice squeezed up, which we did. Good to go. And then get your handy dandy shaker. Um, not a bo Well, Boston shaker will do too, but this works just as well. Um, we are going with Beef Eater Gin tonight. Uh, I was going to use a, the Aviation Gin. Ryan Reynolds owns Aviation Gin. But uh, we found out he's a Kansas City Chiefs fan, and that's no good. So. And a Swifty. We're in Buffalo, New York, guys. So, I mean, Buffalo Bills. Go Bills! Yeah. Sorry. Anything else is just not going to not gonna work for us. So, <laughs> Beef Eater Gin is really good, too. London Dry Gin. And they're um, playing in London. That's right. They are playing in London this weekend. Yeah. 9.30 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Check it out. Okay. So, for one drink, you need two ounces of gin. We're making two drinks here tonight. So, we're going to go four ounces total. And, uh, you know, if you go a little heavy on the... Oh, it's just the, the timer. No, it's not the timer. It's the, it yeah. made the... If you go a little heavy on the booze, that's okay, right? Because as Lisa always says... Splash more! Splash more. Not gonna hurt. Okay. Gin is in. Next up, Luxardo Maraschino Liqueur. We need a quarter ounce per drink, so a half ounce for two drinks. Get that in there. This stuff is really good. I love this stuff. Okay, Luxardo is in. What's up next is the Creme de Violette. Now this uh, liquor was discontinued for a lot of years back in the 60s and 70s, and then a new company started making it again in 2007, which was uh, kind of the precursor to the reincarnation of this drink in the modern era. So Creme de Violette, quarter ounce as well. Um, we're gonna go half ounce for two drinks. This is what gives it its beautiful color, which you'll see in a minute. And then finally, the lemon juice, which we already squeezed. We need a uh, half an ounce for one drink, so a full ounce for two, and this will sweeten it up. Get that nice sweet flavor. Hello. Okay. Get your splash on too. Yeah. You know a, what I always say, bit. honey? Splash more. No, but my favorite quote. Oh. It's never any fun. fun until somebody makes a mess. There we go. Okay. So now we're having fun. Add your ice to the uh, shaker. We are having fun. And <laughs> we're going to shake it up and hopefully not make a mess. All right. Shake it up till it's nice and chilled. And here we go. Boom. Look at that gorgeous purple color. Oh, I love that. Any guy who says they don't love the color purple or pink, you're lying. Come on, let's be honest, guys. How many purple guitars do you have? How many purple guitars do I have? Several, <laughs> several. There we go. Extra points if you know how many purple guitars Jay has. Gorgeous. And tell us about yours in the comments. Awesome. Last thing is the old cherry on top. Uh, we're going to use Luxardo Maraschino Brandied Cherries. These are delicious. And 
uh, they sit in the syrup. They've got this nice syrup in here. So if you get a drop of the syrup in with the cherry, that's fine. That's good stuff. These are not cheap and they're hard to find too. So good luck finding them. Honey, why don't you come on over and uh, join me for a drink? Got your cocktail ready? And uh, these look delicious. Let's just get some of this stuff out of the way. You've got to admit, that's a beautiful color, right? It's beautiful. It Look even matches that. my shirt. Nice. Perfect. <laughs> Cheers. 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 you guys. Oh, that's the stuff. What do you think? Perfect. Delicious. Perfect. Light. Mm -hmm. Refreshing. But like a little extra kick in there. Yeah. This is great. <laughs> a little jet engine action. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah, I think a couple of these would sneak up on you, but um, it's honestly not that strong. It's really just sweet and flavorful. It's got a great color. It's not too sweet, though, because I don't no. really like sweet drinks. So right. I wouldn't say, I mean, it just really depends on, you know, I guess how much of the Luxardo stuff that you put in there yeah. that's, that's sweet. Um, so you can kind of make it to your taste or your color right. making. <laughs> right. This is great. So you guys got to try this aviation... Uh, four easy ingredients. It's really great and um, it's something different, you know, because I mean you can have a vodka drink all the time You can have a bourbon drink all the time. So mix it up. Try something new, you know Cheers. See you later guys. See you until next time. Oh one more thing I have to mention uh, Do not forget I've got the guitar giveaway going on right now So you need to chime in on that video check it out as soon as possible uh, Leave a comment down below in this one too. Let us know what your favorite drink is or your favorite liquor of choice and uh, You know, maybe tell me what drink you'd like me to make next time Give yeah. us some suggestions. Yeah, we love your uh, suggestions, and you know it's getting closer to Halloween. I've been thinking right. about maybe even a spookier drink than yes. this. So sounds good to me. Let Until us next in. time, guys. Thanks a lot. We'll see you soon.